Satan, in the disguise of the serpent, caused Adam and Eve to transgress the law of God. In this he exalted and was not slow in bragging about it to his fellow angels of darkness. <laughs> and, and Eve believed me. Yes, she actually distrusted God's love after it had been so recently manifested to her, too. <laughs> we believed you, too, remember? You said you would soon be ruling in God's stead. You promised us we would be co-rulers with you. And what actually happened? We were thrown out of heaven. Now we are called imps of darkness. Now we rule this earth. I am the prince of this world, and you are my right hand. More <laughs> empty bragging. Listen, you imps, and listen well. Adam was given dominion of the earth. I got it when he yielded his will to mine. This earth is mine. Ours. From here, we will gain control of all the universe. We will be rulers of all creation. But what if the creator has some plan whereby Adam and Eve can be saved from your snares? Plan to save mankind? Ho, oh, ho, what good would any plan do? Man has shown his weakness by yielding to me this time. What makes you imagine they'll be stronger to resist me later on? God is all wise, and he does love his created beings. I think he will devise some plan to save them from sin. Mm, say, maybe he will. Come, Yimps, we must be on the alert to detect any plan and stop it before it gets started. After sinning, the love and peace that had been Adam's and Eve's was gone. In its place, they felt a sense of sin, a dread of the future, and a nakedness of soul. Eve, Eve, I, I feel the need of clothing now that the robe of light has left us. In this condition, I, I don't want to come face to face with God or the holy angels. Me either, Adam. Oh, if you just hadn't left my side, Eve, we would still be safe and secure in the shelter of God's love. But no, you had to leave me and listen to the tempter. Why, oh, why did you ever believe that serpent? I, I didn't realize the awfulness of sin, Adam. It, it is awful, Eve. Yet, yet I, I'm beginning to wonder, if God really does love us, and I think he does, maybe he will forgive us this one transgression. Do you think he will? Or perhaps he won't subject us to so dire a punishment as death. Yes, and... After all, Adam, it, it was only a small transgression. We only ate of the forbidden fruit. Such a small sin can't be so important as to be punishable by death. Perhaps God will overlook that one small sin. Well, after all, Eve, he does love us, and he did create us. Adam, there's God walking in the garden. Quick, we must hide. I don't want to face him. We'll hide among these trees. God won't find us here. Adam! Adam! Don't answer. Adam! Adam, where art thou? I... I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldst not eat? Uh, well, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the fruit, and I did eat. Eve, what is this that thou hast done? The serpent beguiled me, and I, I did eat. O oh, serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Eve, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. 
Adam, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall the ground bring forth, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. He's gone. We, we are to die, Eve. Even now the cells of our bodies begin to deteriorate, as the flowers faded, and we shall be laid to rest in the dust of the ground. Then we must pay the penalty. Death. Yes, Eve. We must pay as all mankind must. Adam! Adam! Uh, here, here I am, angel. I am come to give you these garments of skin. Put them on. Yes, angel. And God bade me drive thee and thy wife out of the Garden of Eden, lest thou put forth thy hand and eat of the tree of life and perpetuate sin. We must leave our garden home? Yes, Eve. Oh. You must go forth from the garden and till the ground from whence thou wast taken. But, but this is our home. I don't want to leave. Angel, forgive her. She, she's heartbroken. <laughs> See that thou goest forth from the garden immediately. We, we will go. Adam. I don't want to go, Adam. Eve, Eve, we sinned. No longer are we worthy of the blessings of this paradise home. Come, Eve. We will go forth from this garden. We will henceforth obey God. We will build a new home wherein dwell only love for each other and obedience to God. Yes, Adam. <laughs> 